What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're in a different location. You guys may or may not recognize this place. This is Copart in Indianapolis. And I've got a few cars to show you guys today, including something that I think is very interesting, a Tesla Model S that was a donation that has been selling for around $4,000 and they just won't let it go. We've got several cars to look into today, so let's jump into it. We're gonna start with something really simple and I'm actually interested in this. When you guys know that I love Kias and Hyundais, well, here's a Kia Soul and it's listed as vandalism. I don't know if it runs or not, but I do know that the vehicles up here generally go for pretty cheap. They're very affordable vehicles, and that is one of the reasons I love coming to the Indianapolis location. Normally you would see like an R or a D or an S or something on the windshield, but there's nothing on this one. I have no idea if it runs, but it says vandalism. And I'm looking around and I really don't see any vandalism. I'm not stepping in that. <laughs> I'm not gonna step in that water, not today. We're gonna come around it, but as you can see, I don't really see any damage to it. So let's take a look inside and see what's going on in here. Maybe it's got a broken out window. Looks like it does. It's, ooh, oh wow. Oh wow. That's a smell. That's pets. That is a that is a heavy pet smell right there. Um yeah, maybe that's the vandalism. <laughs> I, I think uh, some animals definitely were using the restroom in the back seat of this vehicle. It smells awful. Oh, this one this one was stolen. It was stolen. You've got god dang, man. This thing is hard to get close to. It, it, it smells so bad. Let me open another door here. We'll try to get some of this, some of this smell out of here. I can't, I can't do that. It's making me sick to my stomach. That door doesn't open. So this window's busted out for sure. The, everything is stained in this. I mean, everything. This looks like one of those that the Kia boys got a hold of. That'd be my guess. The Kia boys got a hold of this because if you take a look, yeah, I can get I can get closer to it now. The ignition's gone. Now it's got the key. So could it be as simple as just sticking the key in it and turning it on? I don't know. Let's take a look in there and see. It's it's even got power. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh, Lee. Everything in here is sticky. Let's see if we can get the key to. Nah, that ignition is it's stuck. Like it's, it's real stuck. So that's probably why I'll bet money this thing runs, but you're going to have to replace the entire ignition assembly on it. Let's pop the hood real quick. Um, I'll tell you a deterrent for me is that smell. You've got mood <laughs> on mood music off. So, oh, well you push that and it starts dinging. That must be what tells it that the key is in the ignition. I wonder, yeah, they what they did is they buggered up this ignition really, really bad. Really bad. Uh, that's too bad you can't, it's too bad you can't get it going here. Nah, that ignition is just all jammed up. Well, instead of using a USB drive, they used a screwdriver on this. That's unfortunate. I, maybe there's a screwdriver in it. Maybe the, the tool that they used is still in here. I don't see it though. Let's pop the hood. Let's check some fluids real quick. An ignition, oh, that's right. I can't, uh, I can't get over there, can I? Dang. All right, well, we'll have to just assume that this one would run. I'm pretty sure it would. If you replace the ignition or if we just had a screwdriver, I really believe a screwdriver would get this thing going. So I guess it is counted as vandalism because the ignition is busted. But I'm surprised it's not like a theft recovery or could it be that somebody tried to steal it and they messed up the ignition with the screwdriver and they could never get it to run? That's a possibility. Maybe that's why it's vandalism instead of a theft recovery. It never got stolen because the thieves 
broke the ignition too badly to actually steal it. Next, we got a 2014 Tesla Model S that's a donation, and that's something you just don't see. I have never heard of somebody donating a Tesla anywhere ever but apparently it happens now this isn't a very impressive model s it's just a model s 85 it's not a performance it's not a dual motor it's just a model s 85. let's see if we can get into it these doors do not work battery is certainly dead it must be in neutral because they put a block in front of it to keep the car from rolling it does have some really nice looking tires what are they they they're soto zero three Pirellis on the back too, yeah. Sato Zero Threes. And it is dead as a doornail. Now there is a 12 volt battery. Can we even get, they left this open enough to where maybe you could, I don't think so. I don't think you can open this at all. No, well that really sucks. That's gonna make this one a lot shorter, isn't it? Maybe you guys can see in there. It's got no power. I can't, I can get my arm in, but, but that, that's as far as I can go. I can't, uh, I can't very well reach. Can I get you guys in there? Maybe, hold on. Boy, don't drop the camera. That'd be a bad day, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, I think the handle is up here and I can't get to it. The interior looks nice though. Does it have keys? It does. I see the key hanging off of the uh, steering wheel there. Let me see if I can get you guys out without dropping you. All right, well, I guess I got to see it in person. That beats nothing. I'm kind of curious, how do they get it into neutral so that it could be towed? That's very interesting. Did something have to be disconnected? Is there an emergency release that allows it to go into neutral? I wanted to see this one in person because I'm really thinking about going ahead and throwing a bit on it. Um, if it's gonna stick around $4,000, there's gotta be more than $4,000 worth of parts on this. I mean, how much do the headlights go for? Fog lights. I know the front bumper is not very desirable anymore since they did the facelift, but front bumper has gotta be worth something. Same thing with mirrors and switches and uh, the wheels, you know, they're not the turbines or anything, but they're still worth something. So are the tires, the tail lights. Body actually looks to be in really good shape. What I'm going to assume on this one is the worst. It probably has a bad battery, or maybe it's got a bad battery and a bad motor. There's a lot of these, if I remember right, where the motor's actually flooded in the back. I don't remember how or why, but I think like coolant got into a circuit board somewhere that it wasn't supposed to and ended up frying the circuitry in these. So you could be looking at a motor problem. You could be looking at an inverter problem. You could be looking at a failed battery, none of which are gonna be cheap on a car like this. And then you, you get the added pleasure of trying to figure out how do you get into this car since it's dead. I'm assuming the hood does not open either. It's all closed up. I know there's a 12 volt power port uh, under the hood here, but the hood is latched. So you can't get to that either. Donated guys, those are winter tires, by the way, it says winter right on them. Very interesting. I would love to get this back to AAR headquarters in Oklahoma um, and get it plugged in. Where is the charge port? I've had one of these and I can't, I can't find the charge port. Isn't it over here on the side? I don't even see a charge port. I must be losing my mind. I could have swore there was a charge port on the back and I don't see it. Also, is it just me or does it look like the car is sitting awful high off the ground, front and rear? Take a look at that profile. That looks like the car is sitting awful high. Do you think it even still has a battery underneath it? That's, <laughs> maybe we should check. Maybe we should check. I am somehow missing where the power port is on this and it's driving me crazy because I could have swore it was like right here on one of the sides in the back, but I don't see it. I don't see a power port anywhere on this car. I'm gonna to have to do some more research, guys, because I feel like I'm losing my mind. I had a Model S, a P90D with Ludacris, and I swear there was, on the driver's side in the back, you pushed it, it opened up, and that's where you plugged it in. I've just, I must just be missing it somehow. 
but I don't see it anywhere. Let's take a peek underneath. Let's see if she's got a battery. That should be easy for you guys, but you're gonna have to bear with me because you're gonna go sideways for a minute. Looks like it's got its battery. All right. Well, for $4,000, assuming I can convince them to sell it, what do you guys think? A Model S for four grand, is it worth it? Or is this one of those that's probably gonna be so bad I should avoid at all costs? Drop your comments below and tell me if you think we should try to get it or if we'd be better off leaving it alone. Before we get out of here, <laughs> I had to look it up, but the charge port is actually right here. So it's not separate in the fender, it's it's right there. So now we know where it is. I'm, I'm really stewing over this car, guys. Uh, I really want it. I think it would be absolutely crazy if we could get this thing back to AR headquarters, plug it in, and get the thing to run and drive. For four grand, it would be an absolute steal. Next, this was not on my list, but because it's here, I have to show it. It's not just a Ford Taurus. This is a 2011 Ford Taurus SHO. It's the show, the twin turbo V6. These things are kind of ridiculous for being a family sedan, guys. These are, uh, these are mean cars right here. I'm not sure what it's doing here, but take a look. Beautiful leather interior. The body is in relatively good shape. And it doesn't smell particularly bad either. This is not too shabby, guys. It is sitting on a loader. So obviously it took a little bit of front end damage, but it's really not that bad, is it? What's it need a bumper? That's what it looks like to me. It looks like it needs a bumper. You got some bumper damage, but it's got good tires on it. They're Mastercraft SRT Touring tires i wonder what this is doing here surely a, a bumper could not have totaled this car out right it's just a bumper the doors are nice and heavy i, re I really like this taurus i really do i wonder if we could open the hood on this you think it's got power how many miles does it have on it oh man well we obviously can't drive it no it's dead as a doornail I love the interior on these two. I do. This is this is nice. I'm going to have to save this lot number because like I said this was not on my list. It might have some suspension damage as well. You notice that tire is flat. Uh let me see if I can pop this hood real quick. Oh, it's missing the oil cap too. That's that's not good. That's not good at all. There may be a little more to the story on this one, guys, than, uh, than I'm thinking there is. The oil cap missing is very, very concerning. Aside from that and the bumper, though, not a bad looking little car. I got another one to show you real quick, but I don't think you guys are gonna be very impressed with it. Yeah, a 2004 Chevy Trailblazer, also known as a Chevy SSR, right? Isn't this the same? The same frame? It's just a different body, but isn't the frame, the drivetrain and everything? Well, this will probably be the straight six, but I think the GMC Envoy and the Trailblazer, I think they're all kind of the same platform as the SSR is. This one is a pretty basic LT. It's got Michelin tires, and so far, it looks to be in pretty good condition. But when you get around to the back, that's where that changes. It took a very strange hit on the quarter panel. Now, we've had a lot of really bad storms up here in Indiana, so it could be from storm damage, but this is just bizarre. The damage, the way it's crumpled in right here, right here as well, but there's no real damage to the bumper, to the tail light assembly or anything like that. This tire is dry rotted, so I take back what I said about good tires. But here's the thing, this is gonna go for nothing, guys. This is gonna go for dirt cheap. Nobody's gonna want a trailblazer, especially one that's wrecked in the back. But this is a great example of a very cheap truck. You can use this for, you know, getting the groceries, getting your kids back and forth from school, daycare, whatever. And if you need to tow, it's got a big tow hitch on the back of it. You just got to deal with a little dent. Uh, I'll tell you right now, I don't care. I don't care about that dent. It's a work truck. It's got leather interior. The floors are disgusting and it smells like a family car. It's, that's what it smells like. It needs a, a really, really, really good cleaning. It's probably dead as a doornail. We can put the jump pack on it though and see if we can get it to fire up. 
it really doesn't look that bad. It, give it a good cleaning and a set of tires, and this thing might be okay. It's even got heated seats. Are you serious? This thing is pretty loaded for a trailblazer. What do we got here? We got little, little remotes here. That's nice. It definitely doesn't smell the worst. I'm going to put the key in it real quick. Let's see if it does anything. No, dead as a doornail. That's all right. I brought the booster pack for this very reason. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. It's going to have the, the straight six, the Vortec 4200. It's got a AC Delco battery, which is pretty impressive. Somebody, somebody spent some money on that, I guess. Let's put this hood prop up real quick. Let me grab the jump pack and we'll see if we can get this thing to start. All right, we got the jump pack hooked up. Let's see if it's doing anything. I didn't hear anything. No, nothing at all. Well, maybe this wouldn't be a good family car. It doesn't help if it doesn't run. Let's try this again. That's bizarre. I thought for sure the damage would be the back and that would be it. Nothing. Really? Nothing at all? It's like we're getting no power to this thing whatsoever. No. Okay, well, we could try here. There we go. There we go. Let's try it like that. It seemed to like that a little bit better. Well, we have some gauges now. Fired right up. I knew it would. What's the mileage? That's what I want to know. Yeah, yeah, driver door ajar. So is the hood for that matter. What are you worried about? Let's kick on the air conditioning. AC off, AC on, and we'll put it in auto mode. Um, let's see if we can figure out the mileage on this thing, guys. It's just complaining about the door. That's all it cares about is the door. 193, wow. All right. It's got a little bit of miles on it, guys. It's got a little bit of miles on it. Just under 200,000. Um, AC works. AC is nice and cold. It, there it goes. It just got really cold. Important window works. Less important window also works. This is not bad. This is also 4x4. Four four. You got selectable four-wheel drive as well. Two high, all-wheel drive, four high, and four low. Nice cold air conditioning. I, I bet you money this is going to be a pure sale. And I'll also bet you something like this up here is probably going to go for, I bet, right around a thousand bucks. Maybe a little bit less than a thousand dollars. Like I said, you got to deal with the dent in the back, but you've got a 4x4, four four, very capable and relatively reliable trailblazer that runs great with cold air conditioning. I'll tell you something else that I'm really loving about this yard. It is so hot in Oklahoma, it makes it almost unbearable to go out. Even if you go out at 8 o'clock in the morning, it is hot and humid out there. Here in Indiana, it's been nice, man. Highs have been in the 80s. It has been absolutely beautiful weather for being the middle of summer to come out here and look at cars. Listen to this thing. It runs great. This is on my list. This is on my list because I don't care. Alternator is charging. I do not care about a dent in the quarter panel. You know what I mean? It, it, it's a good work truck that just needs cleaning and a set of tires, at least upon initial inspection. That's all it needs. This thing will make somebody a great vehicle. I told you. I knew it was a good one. Next, we've got an 01 BMW 740. Not really sure why this one is here. It actually looks to be in pretty good condition, guys. It's going to be a little dark in here, so you'll have to forgive me. There's nothing I can do about the lack of lighting. But I've always loved the 7 Series, man. They're beautiful cars. I love these, what do they call these? The honeycomb style wheels. They kind of look like BBS rims. I really like it. It's missing the grill. Looks like the hood release may be somewhat damaged or messed up here. Yeah, so I'm guessing to open it, you've actually got to pull on that. Unfortunately, I don't think I have any tools. Yeah, it says hood pop. Um, pretty sure you're going to have to pop it manually unless you could get in here and I don't think you can. 
I don't think there's anywhere in there you can yeah you're gonna have to pop it from here that's what this is for and uh, like I said unfortunately ugh, that's probably not gonna happen aside from that needing the grills uh, that wheel looks like it's been sitting under the dirt for quite a while it's probably a donation or something this car's probably sat for a very long time which kind of makes you wonder what's wrong with it unfortunately if we can't get the hood open we won't be able to start it this is very common with donation cars cars that sat in a field or next to somebody's house for a long time when you open the doors you'll find they're full of grass because people have come by and they've had to weed eat they've done mowing and the, the clippings just blow into the door jams so it's a perfect sign that this car has been sitting for quite a while the window's been open for a long time there's grass clippings all in the seat and everything as well there are spider webs all over the steering wheel and all over this um, here's something cool though look at that phone it comes with the BMW phone how cool is that what a nice old car I mean aesthetically anyway it's pretty nice it is the L so you get the extended wheelbase you've got a lot more room in the back seat yeah she's been sitting uh, a long time I don't know what's all over there I'm not going to touch it though. I have no idea what that is. Not a bad looking car at all. Just got to figure out what's wrong with it. This is one, I think, for Monkey Wrench Mike. I think he needs another one of these in his life. He's almost done with the other one. What do you think, Mike? You ready for another project? Because I think this one's got your name on it. Comment below and tell me what you think of the 7 Series. Unfortunately, like I said, we're not going to be able to start it. I don't have any tools for popping the hood, but overall still a really nice old school 7 Series. Now, I know some of you probably saw this hiding in the background and you were just wondering about it. Well, this is not on my list either. It's sitting all by itself inside the shop away from everything, but it's a 65 Ford and it's a good looking truck. It is a really, really good looking truck. Here's the thing. I'm not a fan of matte black. I'm just not. It's one of those colors that very few people can actually do right. It's a difficult color to do. But this one looks pretty dang good, man. This is a nice looking truck. Well, until you open the door and it's red inside, black and red. I personally, I think the truck should have been done in this red. I think that red would have looked a lot better than matte black. But anyway, this looks familiar. I've seen this steering wheel before. Can any of you comment below and tell me where you've seen this steering wheel from? Yeah, very common steering wheel from back in the day. Steering column for that matter, the whole thing. This is nice. The interior is really nice. I like the red accents on the kind of tan seats, leather, pleather, whatever. The dashboard's got custom striping or painting. I think that's painted. That's not striping, that's airbrushed on. And it looks really, really good. You've got some additional gauges, auto meter gauges, Sun Pro gauges. It doesn't smell bad in here either, guys. It's dead as a door now. Red carpeting and, uh, and vice grips. I actually need these to open the hood of the BMW. I wonder if anybody would, uh, would take offense to me using the vice grips to open the hood. Uh-oh. Uh, it doesn't close. Well, it wasn't closed when I got to it, so I guess that makes sense. My question is, what's under the hood? It's got some real nice Krager SS wheels. Let's take a look and see if we can get under here. Oh, it's got air conditioning, I think. No? Maybe it's just an aluminum radiator. Let's see if I can figure out how to open the hood on this. Maybe we can take a peek and see what's inside. I figured it out. Are you ready? That's actually very, very clean. Just a small block, probably just a 350. Does have aluminum heads, aluminum intake. Obviously that uh, air cleaner is absolutely massive. <laughs> that, is, that is huge. You've got a uh, fuel pressure regulator, so it may be running an electric pump instead of mechanical. You got power brakes. You got an aluminum radiator with an electric fan. It's a really nice setup. It's a really nice setup. Looks like it's got an amp in here somewhere as well. Look at that. Yep. It's got 
headers. Are they long tubes? They are long tube headers. You've got the HEI distributor in the back. This is, this is a really nice little setup, guys. This is a great little truck. Man, I'd love to start it, but it's not on my list. So I'm gonna have to leave it alone, but if it pops up, might be able to come back and take a closer look at it. The bed looks good. How's it look underneath this? Uh... Oh, very nice, very nice. And it looks like it may have an aftermarket fuel cell in it right there. It's been sitting for a while. It's got spider webs, cobwebs all over it. Don't believe me, take a look. So I don't know if it's somebody's project and maybe they're not quite finished with it and who knows what happened, but obviously they sent it down the road. Beautiful old Ford though, guys. I love vehicles like this. Needless to say, this one is also going to go on my watch list. So I'm gonna take a quick shot of the, the lot number there just for my own record. So don't even think about trying to use that lot number to bid on it yourself. This one's mine. All right, let's end this video out looking at some motorcycles, guys. Uh, we got a Honda to start with right here. I'm not even sure why this one's here. This looks pretty good. It's an, it looks, it's an older bike, but not too bad. What year is this? 96. It's got some oil all over it. I'll bet it was laid down somewhere over on this side, but I don't see any damage. The mirrors aren't damaged. The tank's not damaged, but there's a lot of oil all over and over the exhaust here as well. These things are absolutely covered in dust. Not a bad looking bike though, guys. Let's walk along and see what else we find. Another Harley Davidson, plenty of those here. I think there's more Harleys in this place than anything else. And I love the style of this bike right here. Look at this fat tank. It's a fat bike. It's a really fat bike. This is an 09. It's got no juice. Most of these are probably dead. I think a lot of them's probably been sitting here quite a while. This is a big bike right here. That's a little bigger than I'd like to ride. I do miss my Road King a lot. That was such a big, sturdy, stable bike. But I just, I love the looks of these, man. And take a look at these wheels. Look at those spokes and tell me that is not absolutely beautiful. Here's another Harley. I love the color of this one. It's got the 103. Look at this. Unfortunately, the whole fairing here has fallen off or been taken off probably from a wreck. You can't really see it because there's not a lot of light in here, but that orange is metallic and it kind of turns yellow in different light. Hopefully that comes out on camera. This is a beautiful color. I really like this bike. Obviously plenty of damage to it. Definitely is gonna need some work to be put back on the road. And yet again, another Harley. I told you there's tons of Harleys out here, guys. <laughs> there's plenty of Harleys. Here's another one. This is more my size. This looks like an old Sportster. Let's see what year it is. It's a 21. It's the XL883, which I had one of these in a 1200 and I loved the bike. And then I got my Road King and then I went back and I got a Nightster and I didn't hardly ride any of them. I love bikes, but you know, just one of those things. Sometimes I feel like going out and riding and sometimes I don't. And a lot of times I just don't have the time. There's your Kawasaki right there, a Ninja. What is this one? This is a, a 650. So, you know, kind of a mid-level bike there. You got your trike here. These are pretty cool. I like these. Good old Can-Am. It's a Riker. It's a 2022. That's a that's a nice little ride right there, actually. I kind of like this. They've got the side cover to the engine opened up here, so somebody's been into it for something. You've got your air filter there. Check your oil there. I don't know what's going on with it, but obviously it's here for a reason. Another Kawasaki Ninja over here, this one. Man, it's sad to see ones like this, you know? When the fork is like smashed into the frame, that, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad, guys. I hate to see that but that's one of the risks everybody takes the minute they get on a bike. Here's another Harley. Like I said, plenty of Harleys, guys. Looks like we got a Suzuki over here, uh, a GSX R. What year is this one? It's a 17. And again, you know, lots of, lots of damage to this one as well. Very sad. This right here, man, 22 Ducati. It's a Multistrada. 
V4, is that an S? Oh, I'd take this one for a rip. And then I probably wouldn't come home, guys. <laughs> this is probably way too much bike for me. Take a look at that, though. There's a lot going on here. Look how fat this thing is. Everything under here is going to be all your... There's your radiators. You even got a radiator fan in there as well. You've got coolant pipes on this side. It's got an engine guard over here. So if you drop it, hopefully you save this engine. It's a V4 Gran Turismo. Look at the shock absorber here. I like this bike, but don't let it fool you. It's a lot bigger than it probably looks on camera. It's a pretty big bike, guys. And again, another radiator on this side with a cooling fan over here. A lot of cooling going on up front on the sides over there. It's a good looking bike. Moving on, let's see what else we got. How about this? Take a look at this old school Harley right here. Oh man, an 89. This is an FLHS. And I love the paint scheme on this. Look at that. I wonder if that's a screaming eagle on the front of it. Look at the detail on this bike. Absolutely beautiful. Not much technology on something from 1989, but it's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful bike. Let's move on, see what else we got. Again, we've got a Honda. What is this, a VTX 300? VTX 300C. It's hard to see because it's getting dark, but take a look at the detail on this too. Isn't that beautiful? Live to ride, ride to live, free spirit. Again, some very, very nice bikes here. Here's another Ducati. What's wrong with this? Well, looks like this one went down as well. The screen is banged up pretty badly. In fact, everything up here got banged up pretty good guys this is a 2010 ducati hyper motar we got some flashing lights going on there don't know what's going on with that i'd ride this yeah i'd ride this again though man i, I know it would be the end of me if i did look got a timing belt right here cam belts it's interesting that there's no covers on any of this that's that's kind of bizarre i'm pretty sure there should be something covering up those cam belts right i don't know i'm not a motorcycle mechanic so i don't know anything about it looks like we got the key it does come to life we're not going to start it we're not going to start it. we've got another harley davidson over here and this right here a moped um a 2015 honda pcx 150 little moped guys it's purple and white and then last but not least, I had to save this one for the end because I thought this was absolutely crazy. It's an Ecotrick S Port Cool. I don't know. It's an e-bike. And I'm, I'm kind of shocked to see an electric bicycle sitting out here at the co-part yard. So I don't know if this was stolen or vandalized or what the deal was. Lost type unknown. It's a 2021 Sport Cool. 2021 sports cool bike definitely does not look like it was a very expensive bike it's of course uh it looks like 26 inch by four inch fat tire it's rough it's really really rough let's see if it's got any juice there's nothing this thing's in pretty rough shape guys oh well that could be part of the problem all of the wires are ripped out of the controller so yeah it, <laughs> it could that could cause a problem but anyway if you ever wanted a uh a salvage e-bike here you go fat tire e-bike for sale salvaged out here at copart in indianapolis first time i've ever seen anything like this i'm gonna follow this one because i have got to know i've got to know what the high bid goes for on this one with that ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna get out of here i want to thank each and every one of you for taking time to watch my videos and of course thank you to copart up here in indianapolis they're always so helpful so friendly letting me come out here and look at their cars and not only do i get a look at their cars but they actually bring them up to the front for me so i don't have to go looking around for them they drag them up here which takes time out of their day and manpower labor etc i really do appreciate everybody up here for working with me to come out here and view these cars if you enjoy this video hit the thumbs up button and let me know consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed and definitely drop those comments below till next time stay safe out there everybody i look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one